Hello students and welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today we'll be talking about another very, very interesting topic that is mosquitoes and diseases and their control measures. Students, let us first take a look at the diseases which are caused or spread by mosquitoes. The very first type of mosquito is the Anopheles mosquito. To be precise students, only the females of this particular genus of mosquitoes spread the disease. The female Anopheles mosquito spreads malaria. Also students, next we have the Culex mosquito. This particular genus of mosquito spreads elephantiasis also known as filariasis. Next example of the mosquito is the Aedes mosquito. Students, this mosquito is very very dangerous and notorious because it spreads many different types of diseases. For example, yellow fever, dengue, zika, chikungunya, etc. Moving on students, now let us take a look at how exactly the disease transfers from mosquito to another person. So let us take a look. Now the germs enter through the mosquito bite. Now see, Look at the diagram right above me. Now a mosquito has bitten a person. Now this mosquito was already infected with the pathogen. When this mosquito bites a healthy person, that person gets infected. Now these particular pathogens, now the pathogen for the malarial parasite are called as plasmodium. So this plasmodium now in the person moves to the liver cells. From the liver cells, they go to the blood cells. Now, at this stage, if another mosquito bites this particular infected person, then this second mosquito will also get infected. And now, students, finally, when this newly infected mosquito bites another healthy person, the disease is transferred from the mosquito to the other healthy person. So, students, let us see. First, the germs enter through the mosquito bite. Then, there is growth and multiplication of the germs. And eventually, there is entry of germs through the bite of infected mosquito to the healthy person. To learn more about this topic, download Top Scholars app.